Hi everybody, I'm Leah CJ Drill, and I gotta tell you, I'm outside. I've got a light. Well, come on, let me show you what's up with this light. So here's our light. Did I tell you it was ugly? <laughs> this is very much in need of a refresh. I'll tell you, the paint has started to come away from the metal. As you can see, it's exposing like a purple color underneath the black. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna refresh it. I'm gonna save you some money here, because if you follow this formula, it's gonna be like you've got a brand new light for pennies of what a new light would cost you. Nobody will ever know that it's not a new light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut off the power, I'm gonna show you how to remove this thing, then we'll take it into the shop, and I'm gonna show you what I've got in mind. Okay, so I've cut the power here. You can cut the power by turning it off at the switch or turning it off at the breaker box. I like to do both, just to be careful. So the power is cut. Now I'm gonna remove this nut. It's just a finished nut here. And I'm gonna remove a corresponding nut on the other side. Okay, so we're almost there. I've got the other side. Now I'm just gonna pull it away from, from the wall. Okay, take a look. I've got a voltage detector here. I'm just gonna make certain, I'm gonna turn it on, just make certain that it's, uh, it's not live. And it's not. If it had been, the voltage indicator would have flashed red. So we're good. We've got three connections that we've got to disconnect here. All right. And we're just going to pull this out of the box, give us a little room. So we've got our black wires here. That's our hot wire. We go up top here. White is our neutral. And the other wire that we have to disconnect here is our ground wire. It's the bare copper wire. So I'm just going to twist this off. So I'm removing the ground and I'm going to remove that wire. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to untape the neutral wire. And remember that neutral usually indicated by white. And so I've separated the wires and now I'm just going to remove the fixture. And there we go. It's just that simple. Did I tell you this was one ugly light? We need to refresh it. And if I've got this kind of situation, you might have the situation as well. I'm going to show you just what we're going to do here. Now, I'm going to set this down because I want to show you this. And what it is, is it's a custom paint. Nowadays, let me tell you something. You can get paint in just about every color and finish imaginable. Used to be, you know, you can only have a few colors of paint. Now spray paint they have designer paints. And so what we have here is this is called hammered copper. And it's a primer and paint combination. So once we clean the light, all we have to do is spray the fixture. That's it. And it's done. Of course, we're going to have to wait until it dries to put it back up. But these primer paint combinations, you just can't beat them. So I've taken the cover off. I've broken it down just a little bit more. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to clean it off. And uh, you should do the same thing at home. Just make certain that you do it thoroughly. Now what I've done is I've taken cardboard. I always like to have cardboard around because you never know when you're going to need it. And I've made like a makeshift spray box here. I've removed the glass from the, um, the light fixture and the top from the light fixture as well. I'm in a very well ventilated area and that's what you want to do. You want to do the same thing. Plus I'm wearing eye protection. Okay, so you'll want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it once. I'm going to see how it looks. And then if I need to, I'll spray it again. Now you'll want to follow the manufacturer's instructions per your the paint that you select. Okay, so here we go. Wow, that looks beautiful. Now, you know, what I will tell you about, I chose a uh, hammered copper. But the beautiful thing about these custom paints are they come in a wide variety. Stone-like, they have brushed nickel, hammered pewter, they even have something called chrome. So it's, you're only limited by your own imagination. I'm just going to cover it lightly once, and then we'll cover it again. Because I can see already that I'm going to need two coats. I 
So we've got our first coat on, and with this particular paint and manufacturer, they suggest applying the second coat within the hour. So I'm going to give it about 45 minutes before I spray it again. Now, I got to tell you, I'm very pleased with the look. Okay, so I've applied not only the second coat, but I've allowed the paint to, to dry overnight. And I have to tell you, I really, really am pleased with the way it has finished. Okay, so now we're going to reinstall the fixture. Just keep in mind that this is our bare wire. It's ground and it'll be attached to a green grounding screw. Okay, our next wire is our hot wire and it's denoted by the black sheathing. Our white wire, well that's our neutral. And just keep in mind that white to white, black to black, and then of course like I said, the, the ground wire is going to be attached to a green grounding screw. Okay, so now it's been wired, I'm going to stick the wires back in the box and then put the lamp back in the place. So next I'll put in my glass, install the light bulb, and put the cap back on.